Hey there, is uh, welcome to your reading for the week of uh, January 22nd. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have going on for you. Probably feeling a lot better this week, I would say. And feeling like things are a little bit more positive, maybe. Uh, you start off with the Nine of Hearts. So getting something that you wish for, getting something that you want. Uh, I really like this card. It's great for that. Also a good card for uh, long-distance relationships, new relationships coming in. Um, and it doesn't necessarily, uh, it, well, let me just say, it can be a card of long-distance relationships. So that's one thing. Uh, the other thing is is that it could just be somebody who, you know, kind of sees you from a distance, who is interested in you. So, um, again, you could have an admirer or something at this time. Next, you have the Three of Diamonds. Uh, I just have a feeling this is going to keep coming up all year. So just know that this year should be very careful with paperwork. I'd say probably all the energy in Capricorn. I mean, Capricorn wants us to be very, you know, specific, very in order, very, you know, strict about things. So uh, definitely a good year to stay on top of paperwork. Um, you know, don't skimp on paperwork. Don't cheat on paperwork. Don't, you know, don't do anything uh, like that. Um, definitely, especially when it comes to, like, taxes and things like that. Again, you might be doing your taxes early or something. Just, you know, double-check everything. Make sure everything's right. You know, save yourself a headache. I would say this isn't a bad card. It doesn't ever make anything bad happen. It's more of just, like, a minor annoyance where something could happen where, you know, maybe you do your taxes and maybe they send them back and say, oh, you made a mistake or something like that. So, again, just, you know, be careful of that. Double-check everything that you do. Next, you have the Five of Spades, needing to take a risk. I think for you, the risk is being independent, stepping off on your own, doing something on your own, or uh, doing something that you've never done before is probably what is coming up. So this could be one of, you know, one million different things that you could be doing. could be starting a new relationship, uh, starting a new job, starting a new business. could be anything. So again, if you're doing something you've never done before, uh, just know that you are doing the right thing. And again, if you have a question about whether or not you should do something you've never done before, uh, this card says yes. Next, you have the Five of Clubs. Same energy, same thing. Needing to do something you've never done before. Uh, this is a card I would say for you that messages coming in is developing passion. So I feel like a lot of you could be developing some sort of passion for some sort of new job or business or product or whatever uh, it may be. This is, to me, a card of hobbies. And it could be saying, again, that you could be developing a new passion that you don't even know about yet. Uh, or you could be finding some sort of new, like, you know, some sort of new interest that kind of leads you to a new career or new business at this time. I would actually say that's a lie. I don't think it's at this time. I feel like it's, you know, the entire year, basically. I feel like this is going to be a long-term message for you where you're developing passions around something new. A great card for adventures. Um, really good travel cards, by the way, this week. So if you're traveling or moving, you have some really great cards there. Uh, also a card focusing on friends. Um, I would say that it's a good week for friends with this card. Next, you have the Six of Clubs, putting down some sort of burden. Um, I feel like sometimes this card represents like putting down something that was very difficult. I feel like some of you could be moving, you know, you could be starting something new. Um, and maybe like I feel like some of you don't want to start something new or you're just like sick of, you know, constantly having to redo things. Um, but I do feel like this card is saying that it's actually going to be beneficial for you to kind of move past something. And I think in the future, you'll see how whatever it is that you were working on or whoever you were dating or whatever that you had to leave, how that would, is actually like a blessing. So feels good to me. Uh, Six of Clubs to me is also a card of just being on the right path, moving in the right direction. So I think a lot of you are just, you know, I think this is just a confirmation card saying that you're moving in the right direction at this time. And finally, you have the Queen of Spades. Uh, again, this is a card that is kind of, you know, over the entire reading here, I feel. It's a card of doing something you, you have never done before. I always say that the Queen of Spades to me is a card of jumping into darkness. Um, you know, basically, she is the type of person who would take a job without knowing how to do it and she would just learn how to do it as she went along so i feel like a lot of you are embracing that type of energy this week i don't feel like this is somebody coming in uh, this card does not represent aries but um you know i would say that i feel like this is you this week even though again it doesn't represent you technically you know technically i feel like you're just saying this is the type of energy that you are embracing at this time it's just some sort of kind of new exciting uh, you know, new beginning type of energy there. So I definitely like to see that. Very interesting week, I would say. And, um, you know, I would say follow your thoughts. Don't resist those thoughts. Five of spades. Sometimes we can have these new thoughts coming in that could actually lead us to something better. But, the, you know, there might be a little resistance there. So, you know, follow those thoughts. Follow those ideas that could be leading you to, you know, an exciting new journey. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.